Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for April 2nd, read by Buddy C. from Atlanta, Georgia. AA Thoughts for the Day, Humility. Our AA program is spiritually centered. Most of us have found enough humility to believe in and depend upon God. We have found that humility by facing the fact that alcoholism is a fatal malady over which we are individually powerless. Language of the Heart, page 7. Thought to consider. Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. Acronyms. Yet. You'll end up there. Just for today, powerless from the vicious cycle. When I finally got Hank on the telephone, he fired me right then. This was when I really took my first good look at myself. My loneliness was worse than it had ever been before. For now, even my own kind had turned against me. This time it really hurt more than any hangover ever had. My brilliant agnosticism vanished. And I saw for the first time that those who really believed, or at least honestly tried, to find a power greater than themselves were much more composed and contented than I ever had been, and they seemed to have a degree of happiness I had never known. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, pages 228 and 229. Daily Reflections Character Building Demands made upon other people for too much attention, protection, and love can only invite domination or revulsion. 12 and 12, page 44. When I uncovered my need for approval in the fourth step, I didn't think it should rank as a character defect. I wanted to think of it more as an asset, that is, the desire to please people. It was quickly pointed out to me that this need can be very crippling. Today I still enjoy getting the approval of others, but I am not willing to pay the price I used to pay to get it. I will not bend myself into a pretzel to get others to like me. If I get your approval, that's fine. But if I don't, I will survive without it. I am responsible for speaking what I perceive to be the truth, not what I think others may want to hear. Similarly, my false pride always kept me overly concerned about my reputation. Since being enlightened in the AA program, my aim is to improve my character. As Bill sees it, when I was tired and couldn't concentrate, I used to fall back on an affirmation toward life that took the form of simple walking and deep breathing. I sometimes told myself that I couldn't do even this, that I was too weak, but I learned that this was the point at which I could not give in without becoming still more depressed. So I would set myself a small stint. I would determine to walk a quarter of a mile, and I would concentrate by counting my breathing, say, six steps to each slow inhalation, and four to each exhalation. Having done the quarter mile, I found that I could go on, maybe a half mile more, then another half mile, and maybe another. This was encouraging. The false sense of physical weakness would leave me. This feeling being so characteristic of depressions. The walking and especially the breathing were powerful affirmations toward life and living and away from failure and death. The counting represented a minimal discipline in concentration to get some rest from the wear and tear of fear and guilt. From a letter, 1960. Big Book Quote So our troubles, we think, are basically of our own making. They arise out of ourselves, and the alcoholic is an extreme example of self-will run riot, though he usually doesn't think so. Alcoholics Anonymous, How It Works, page 62. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. Since I've been in AA, have I made a start toward becoming more loving to my family and friends? Do I visit my parents? Am I more appreciative of my spouse than I was before? Am I grateful to my family for having put up with me? Have I found real understanding with my children? 
Do I feel that the friends I found in AA are real friends? Do I believe that they are always ready to help me, and do I want to help them if I can? Do I really care now about other people? Meditation for the day. Not what you do so much as what you are. That is the miracle working power. You can be a force for good with the help of God. God is here to help you and to bless you, here to company with you. You can be a worker with God, changed by God's grace. You shed one garment of the Spirit for a better one. In time, you throw that one aside for a yet finer one. And so from character to character, you are gradually transformed. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may accept every challenge. I pray that each acceptance of a challenge may make me grow into a better person. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Buddy, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.